Hey, art friends, today we're gonna draw another insect. What are we drawing this time? A dragonfly. It's gonna be really cool. We hope you're gonna follow along. You need your drawing supplies and also some paper and- Something to go with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yeah. Let's first draw the head and we're gonna draw it up here towards the top of our paper so that we have room for the big long body. We're gonna draw an oval shape about this size right here. There's the head. And then we could also draw, maybe this is kind of the mouth shape. <laughs> and then let's split the eyes right down the middle. Then we're gonna draw the thorax next, which is the body. We're gonna start here. And we're gonna draw an oval shape that comes down, around, and then back up, or kind of a U shape, an oval that's not, that doesn't complete at the top. Yeah because it's connected to the head. Mm -hmm. There you go. Next, let's draw the abdomen. And that's the really long part of the dragonfly. We're gonna start here and we're gonna draw a line that comes down like this and maybe stop there. So this is the left side. And then we're gonna draw the right side coming down and it comes close together right here. And then we're gonna leave a little space at the bottom and then connect these two lines together with a curve. Now at the very end, let's draw an upside down V. And then we're gonna draw a curve to connect that V up to the abdomen. Then let's connect the other side back up also. Cool, now we can add segments. Let's draw lines going across all the way up to the thorax. Now let's draw the legs. Let's draw one leg coming straight up, or diagonal, to the left, actually. It looks very happy. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> His legs, like, all the way up in there. It's celebrating. <laughs> <laughs> then we're going to draw this leg bent. So we're going to draw it bending to the right a little. And then we can draw a little hook at the end. We could also color in if you have a little space on those legs. Now let's draw the other leg on the other side, and we'll just repeat those same steps. We'll draw an upside down, skinny letter U, color it in, and then we're gonna bend the leg, go in the other direction, and then a little hook at the end. Okay, now let's draw the next leg. We're gonna draw it right next to the first one, but we're gonna draw it coming out to the side further. We wanna make sure that we're drawing the legs really skinny too, so that it doesn't look too strong. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to draw this leg bent up a little further. And I'm going to color in this first segment too. Then let's draw a little foot or hook at the end. We could also add little tiny spikes on that leg. Okay, now let's draw the other leg on the other side. And we're going to draw it symmetrical. So we can draw it going the same direction the other way. And then color it in. And let's bend this leg up just like the other side. Color it in. And then a little hook at the end for the foot. And we went a lot faster that time because we're repeating the same steps. I like those little spikes on the end. Okay, now let's draw the last leg on each side. Let's draw it coming back this way. So we're gonna draw a really skinny U shape. And we can bend it coming out a little further. And then I'm gonna draw a little hook at the end. Ooh, this is looking really cool, even without the wings. Mm -hmm. Now let's draw the other leg going down the other side. And then we'll draw it bending out a little further and a hook at the end. Ooh, we could also add little spikes too on this leg. What should we draw next? The wings. Yeah, let's do it. Let's draw wings. We're gonna draw, first let's draw a little oval right in the middle of the body. This is where the wings are gonna come out of. And then we're gonna draw another U shape. Kind of looks like we're repeating the same shape as the dragonfly. It looks like a little baby dragonfly oh, yeah. <laughs> on the back. Okay, now let's draw the first wing. We're gonna draw it coming out to the left. So we're gonna curve out of this top oval. We're gonna curve out like this. So I curved up and then kind of started coming down. And then we're gonna do that same kind of shape. We're gonna start here and we're gonna come straight out and then right at the end, we're gonna curve down before we get to the edge of the paper. Okay, now we're gonna start here and we're gonna curve back 
in like this, and then we're going to curve up almost to where we started. Let's repeat that same shape, but on the other side now. So we're going to start here, come up a little, and then start coming down. And that's okay if they don't look exactly the same on both sides. We're practicing, right? Mm -hmm. We're going to draw this next bump, and then right at the end, kind of curve down. And then we're going to curve back in. And then right at the end, we're going to curve up and almost connect to where we started. There's the first set of wings. They have one more set right below this one. So we're going to start here. We're going to trace over where we were, come out a little further, and then curve down, just like we did on this wing. The wings are really fun to draw. Yeah. Now we're going to curve here at the end. We're going to come back underneath the foot. We're going to curve up next to the body and then into almost where we started. <laughs> that looks really cool. Okay, now let's do the same thing on the other side. We're going to start here, come out, and try to look at the other side so that it matches symmetrical. And then we're going to curve back around underneath the foot and the leg and then curve up to the body and in. Hadley, we did it. We finished drawing our dragonfly. It looks really cool, except we're not completely done. We still need to color it. Yes, that's gonna look really cool after we color it. This part we are going to fast forward, so remember to pause the video and take time to color your drawings. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Give me five. We did it. We finished drawing and coloring our dragonfly. Yeah, it looks so much better all colored in. Yeah, I think so too. I hope our, our friends will take time to pause the video and color their drawings also. If you have the same biannual marker set, we use blue, yellow, and green. The blue that we used is... B205. Yeah, and then the yellow is Y107. We used two greens, a light green. G503. And the dark green we used is... G515. Yeah, and then we also used a really light, warm gray, WG01 for the wings. And then at the very end, we used a black colored pencil to add the texture lines on the wings. That makes it look even more realistic. We also used a white colored pencil on the thorax. But you could also color your dragonflies any way you want. You could also make the wings colorful too. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing dragonflies. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! Goodbye.